and, it, it's, and it's designed so you can stack them on the wall. So if you look at the wall in the back, you'll see that there, there, are, you can, there are some that are paired up. So you can have two, you can actually stack up to nine of the power walls. So you have, I mean, if you, even if you've got a pretty big thing going on, you can have 90 kilowatt hours, this lot. <laughs> <laughs> and very importantly, this is gonna be a great solution for people in remote parts of the world where there's no electricity wires or where there's the, or where the electricity is extremely intermittent or extremely expensive. So you can take the Tesla Powerwall and it, 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 it can scale globally. Um, and in fact, I think what we'll see is something similar to what happened with, with the uh, cell phones versus landlines, where uh, the cell phones actually leapfrogged the landlines and there wasn't a need to put landlines in a lot of countries or in remote locations. So people, people in, in a, a remote village or an island somewhere can take solar panels, combine it with the Tesla Powerwall, and, and never have to worry about it, having electricity lines. And I think this is, this is gonna be great. Le you, I mean, you, having electricity lines are not the most pretty thing in the world. So being able to just have this, this solution that just works wherever you are, I think is gonna be incredibly helpful to, to people that don't have electricity today. So. Um, so you, you, you can order the Powerwall uh, right now on the Tesla website. Actually, go to teslaenergy.com and you can order the, the Powerwall right now. Um, and <laughs> we're we're going to start, start shipping in approximately three or four months. Um, and initially, the, the ramp will be, will be slow because these, these packs will be made uh, in our Fremont factory. And then next year, the ramp will go much, much higher as we transition to the Gigafactory uh, in Nevada. So this is a good solution for, for homes and perhaps for some, some small commercial applications. But what about something that scales much to much, much larger levels? So for that, we have something else. So we have the power pack. <laughs> So the, the, the Tesla power pack is designed to scale infinitely. So you, you can literally make this into a, one, a gigawatt hour class uh, solution. <laughs> you, could go, you could go gigawatt class or, or, or higher. Um, and in fact, uh, we already have uh, a, a, a one utility that wants to do a 250 megawatt hour installation just using the, the power pack. Um, and uh, now, um, I think it would be a good idea, this would be a good time to transition the power, the, the, the power that we're using in the building to being battery powered, of course. So, so let's, let's go to the camera feed to, let's go, let's go check out the power meter. Oh wow, the grid, it's actually zero. <laughs> <laughs> This entire night has been powered by batteries. Of <laughs> Not only that, the batteries were charged by the solar panels on the roof of this building. <laughs> so this entire night, everything you're experiencing is stored sunlight. So. So when I say scalable, I really mean scalable. Uh, so the, we can do gigawatt class uh, installations with the power pack. Uh, it's, the whole system is designed, literally designed for infinite scalability. So we could power a small city like Boulder with a gigawatt hour class uh, pack. Uh, and we can, we can keep going here. <laughs> so let's, let's, what I want to do is explore what, what is needed, what, what's really needed to transition the world to sustainable energy? Is this actually possible? Is it something that is within the ability of humanity to actually do, or is it some insurmountable, super difficult, impossible thing? Um, it's not. So with 160 million power packs, you can transition the United States. Okay? With 900 million, you can transition the world. You can basically make all electricity generation in the world uh, renewable, so all, and primarily solar, which will be so. And then 
<laughs> going a little further, if, if, if you wanted to transition all transport and all electricity generation and all, all heating to renewable, you need approximately 2 billion power packs. Now, that may seem like an insane uh, number, and, I, and I'm, I'm very tempted to do the, you know, the, the billion thing, but <laughs> restrain my hand. <laughs> but um, in, in, in order to, to, it's like 2 billion uh, power packs. Is, is, that, is that a crazy number? Is that an impossible number? It, it, it is not, in fact. The number of cars and trucks that we have on the road is approximately 2 billion. And every, every 20 years, approximately, that gets refreshed. There's 100 million new cars and trucks made every year. So th the point I want to make is that this is actually within the power of humanity to do. It, we have done things like this before. And so it's, it's not impossible. It is, it is really something that, that we, we can do. Um, and uh, in, in, in fact, it, you know, it's, it's, it's something that, um, obviously, we're starting to do with, with Gigafactory 1. Um, so, <laughs> yeah. So, the what we're, the way we're approaching the Gigafactory is really like it's a product. So we're we're not really thinking of it in the traditional way that people think of as as a factory, like a building with a bunch of sort of off-the-shelf equipment in it. What we're really designing in the Gigafactory is a giant machine. It's actually it's really think of like it's like a product of of Tesla. We're, we're making this really big product that doesn't happen to move, but it's really big. And, and, and that's what we're doing, is, is Gigafactory version one. Uh, and we're, we're building that in, in Nevada right now. Uh, and there will need to be many Gigafactories in the future. And with the, um, you know, I, 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 I do want to emphasize that this is not something that we think Tesla's going to do alone. We think there's, there's going to need to be many other companies building sort of Gigafactory class operations of their own, and we, we hope they do. Um, and the, the Tesla policy of open sourcing the patents will continue for the Gigafactory and for the Power Pack and for all these other things. So we want to show people, that, most importantly, that, that this, this is possible. Um, that if, if you look at the, that, that, that's the future we, we could have, where the, the, the curve slowly rolls over and it goes to zero, no incremental CO2. That, that's, that's the future we, we need to have. Uh, and that's, that, that's something that, I, and, and, and the path that I've talked about, the solar panels and the, and the batteries, it's the only path that I know that can do this. Um, and, and I think it's something that, that it's, we, we must do, uh, and, and we, we can do, and that we will do. So, so thank, thank you all for uh, coming tonight, and I hope you had a great time. Thanks.